Hi, now let us see how we can create loops inside Solidity. Now, Solidity, like any other programming language, consists of three loops. Okay, first one, our file loop. Okay, while loop. Second one, our for loop. And the third one, our do while loop. So I'm assuming that you already know the concept of loops because that was the prerequisite of this course that you should have knowledge of at least one programming language. So I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of how you can use loops in Solidity. Okay. I'm just going to quickly tell you how you can use loops in Solidity. Now remember one thing, you cannot create loops at contract level. You have to create loops inside functions only. So if you want to create a loop, first of all, you need to create a function. So let's say my name of the function is, for example, while, okay, because we are going to create a while loop. Then inside this, we will have our public, not inside this, actually, we will make this function public, then pure, and let's say it is returning something, okay, say so UIT. Now, in order to use this while loop, first of all, we will have this while keyword, and then these small brackets where we will be having our condition. So if the condition inside this while loop is true, then we are going to we are going inside this particular while loop. If the condition inside this small bracket is false, then we are again we are actually terminating from this while loop. Okay. So let's say I want to find the sum of uh, let's say some n numbers. So how what I can do that? I can simply create let's say a variable sum which will be initially zero, right? Because we are not initializing it with anything. Then we can create one more variable by the name of count. Okay. So this will be having the count. Okay. And we can check whether the count is, let's say, less than five. Okay. And inside this loop, we will simply do sum equal to sum plus count. Okay. So until the or until or unless this condition is true, we will be doing this particular thing. Otherwise, we will be terminating from this loop and then we will be returning the value of this sum variable. So now let us check this. Let me deploy this. This contract. So now I'm calling this while loop. And since uh, you can clearly see that sum is adding to this particular count. Okay, one more thing we haven't done that, that we need to have count equal to count plus one. Otherwise, this loop will run for infinity, right? because we are not increasing the value of count and count will always be less than five. So definitely it will never terminate. So we need to increase the value of count after each and every iteration. And now we will deploy it again. Again, now I'm going to call this while loop. So you can see that 10 is the answer and that's true as well, right? Because one plus two plus three plus four is equal to 10. And that's what this while loop is doing. Now let's say I want to create a for loop. Then what I can do is I can simply remove or let's say I want can remove this while loop or let me comment it out so that you can check it afterwards then we will have this for loop and to use this for loop again i'm going to have this count variable okay and let me initialize it zero here okay we can what we can do is we can simply remove it from here and we can tap it okay and then we will have count should be less than five then count should be plus plus right the same thing that we were doing inside the for loop we are doing the, those thing uh, in this for loop statement okay inside these small brackets and then we will copy this line you know this line actually this line and simply sum equal to sum plus count and now we can check this as well let me deploy this and let me call this while loop again the answer is 10 right now let me quickly tell you how this for loop is working first of all we are going to for this line count equal to zero and whether count is less than five, which is zero is less than five, then we are going to this line. Then we are again going to not actually again, we are going to this line count plus plus. So now count value will be one and whether count is less than five, which is true. Again, we are going for this line. And this is how this whole loop is working. In the same way, what we can do is we can use do while loop to so do. And in this, we will have our condition here. That is whether count is less than five okay and yes remember to put this semicolon at the end and just copy the same statement that we have in our file loop inside this. okay and just comment this and just again we will have our count declared okay like this so now again we have this two while loop which is actually doing the same thing that this for loop was doing and this while loop was doing 
to deploy while loop again okay I, i'm not changing the name okay guys so don't worry okay that like i'm calling the while loop while it is doing the do while loop kind of a thing okay so now you can clearly see that 10 okay so this is also working in a right way so this is how we use loops inside solidity i hope you enjoyed this video meet you soon in the next video hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video please click on that like button if you are new to this channel please subscribe to this channel because i am regularly going to upload new blockchain courses on this channel so meet you soon in the next video till then take care bye bye and do not forget if you have any doubts please comment below okay